What's up everybody, Chris here. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over how to set up your SendFox account. Now when it comes to SendFox, this is an email marketing platform. It's a great way for you to send emails out to a mass list of people. And the main reason why I'm showing you how to set up for SendFox is that SendFox is free. SendFox gives you a ton of features for the low, low price of $0. So I'm just going to go down to the main page real quick, scroll down and show you a few things. So there's smart campaigns. So file your copywriter, put in all the content from your blogs or podcasts. So that's easily plugs in. Say you put a YouTube video or you have a blog, you'll easily plug it into an email and be able to send that out. That will be able to go over later on. Create a smart page. So essentially a smart page is a landing page. A landing page is the page you send people to to input their email. So it's a great way to put like a photo or a video and just explaining them what you're going to be sending them emails about. And then there's links for referrals to win points and money and such like that. But so I'm just going to go over to the pricing page real quick before starting the setup. We will notice here in big bold is a lifetime plan where you can send up to 50,000 emails per month. Now granted, if you're starting off, it's that's a really big, big number and not something you have to really worry about. It's not the type of deal where like, oh man, I should really get the life plan now because what if, what if? To be honest, the free plan is more than enough. Um, if things grow and you need to get a bigger mailing list or be able to you send out more than 50,000 emails per month, then you could update, upgrade your plan later on. But for this particular reason, we're going to stick with the free plan right here. Everything you need, simple, easy. And what I like about SendFox compared to other email softwares is that it has a very intuitive and a very familiar UI, a very familiar user interface. So if you ever sent an email on Hotmail or Gmail or Outlook, it looks the exact same. It's not a bunch of drag and drop. It's just type your email in straight to the point. No fluff, no frills. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm going to start by signing up. I'm going to put in an old email I had from high school. Now, for those that don't know, Black Jays is a group from the Canadian hip hop star Cardinal Official. So what's my name? I'll put in my name as Bob. Password. Let me punch in... So create my account, simple as that. Um, I'm gonna click X on also my password. Obviously, it's gonna have a pop-up telling you can unlock more features. For now, we're good. We're just gonna go underneath and click continue for free. You're in, Bob. Celebrate with the Fox DA. Pretty cool pop-up. So here, oh, here they have an incentive. Complete your onboarding checklist in less than 24 hours and get an extra 1,000 extra contacts. Yeah, it's whatever. Like it, it's, you really don't have to rush through this. So now that's set up. So now tell us about your content. So we'll start with that. So if you have a blog site, so you enter the URL to your blog. If you have a podcast URL, you put it there. Or if you have a YouTube channel, you put that in there. And this comes into play to when you create your emails later on, how to easily plug in all that information. Now your social media, you're going to want to include all social media icons to your email footer. So just put in the link to your, to your Twitter. Uh, I got to go back and figure out what mine is, but I'll do that at a later time. But then you just click update and all your social media links will be popped up at the bottom of your email. So now what we need to do here is we'll go to account, Bob, boom, time zone. Uh, Tyler recommended for you to put your address involved. It's um, so can spam laws is where you plug in your address, your real address in, and if ever somebody wants to unsubscribe for your email and you keep sending them emails without their consent, they'll have your information to send that to you because sending emails to someone without their consent is a big problem which you can get sued for, which is why on which is why you never find out. You never just add someone to your email list. You have to send them a, li a link for them to accept and join on their own behalf. So web presence was the page right before. Domains, we're not going to go over that. So lists require double opt-in. So what double opt-in is, is someone signs up to your email. They'll get an email saying, hey, we know if you signed up to this list. Please confirm that you actually did that. So I'm going to go to dashboard. And we're going to start by creating a... Form. So my new list. Select the list. So the list I have right now. So I'll create a new list of people. 
so list name will be my new email list. Great list. Boom. So here you can see my landing page signups. That's the one that comes automatically. It's my new email list. So now if I go back to forms, create form, my new list is the name of the form. I'm going to choose that list I just created. Form layout, I'm just going to want their first name and their email address. And the button for submit, I'm going to change that to sign up now. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Publish form. So now what a form is, is if you have a website, you'd copy this in and put this onto your website and the form will pop up. So now what we're going to do instead is we're going to create a smart page, which is pretty much a landing page. So here's an example of one where it's pretty simple. Website title, get my best updates delivered to your mailbox. Um, can I see the link? Visual form. There we go. View page. So that's what this page looks like. My name's Bob. Get my best updates delivered to your inbox. So what essentially what we do is get all the fresh new content weekly. So, so then you go into here, this landing page you type up. So I'm gonna call this get access. All of my, oh, let's make this caps. All of my new content straight to your inbox. So done. Deliver to your inbox. Join my email list. Boom. Done. Save. Visual. I like the color orange. So I'm going to bring that down to here. Let's see if this is orange I'm going to get. That's nowhere near orange. All right, whatever. We'll stick with that. And page header. So page headers are going to be, let me open up some new tab. Page header is this section here where it says Bob. I could input an image if I want. I only have an image to put, so I'm just going to keep it as my name. In the form again I want the first name the list is going to go to my new email list so now whenever it comes to getting someone to sign up I would copy this link up here send them to them by email or via text and with that they would sign up to my email list and boom you'd have them pop up here onto your name list my new email list so I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sign up with myself on my own email so Bob and I want more full newsletters. Join. And then it goes to this page, interesting enough. But now if I go to lists and I click refresh, boom, I got Bob that signed up under landing page signups because I used the wrong link. So now if I go to the new one here, uh, refresh. Fine. That's done. If I go back to list and refresh, oh no, I didn't connect that list. Interesting. So I'm doing this live. I'm not going to try to re edit all this. So I'm going to go back to smart pages, get my new content weekly, newsletter, landing page campaigns, visual. Ah, there you go, my new email list. I didn't change the list that the, my subscribers are being joined to. So I'm gonna save. So now if I were to go back to the page right here and type in an email, I'll put Bobby. I wanna join more cool newsletters, click join. So now when I go to my list over here, we're gonna see I got one subscriber. If I just click on that, it'll show me the name of the person, the email, their IP address, the whole nine. So that's smart pages, that creates your landing page. And say you want to create an email to send out to these people, you just go to emails, you click create email. So like I said, it's very intuitive. It looks exactly like the software you use to send your own emails out, whether it's Hotmail, Gmail, 
or Outlook. So I'm going to select the list, my new email list, subject. This is a test. And what's great too is you could also add in emojis. That's one of the things I really enjoy doing, adding emojis. And what's greater is when you come to writing your email, hi, I go to personalize, contact first name. So I just kind of highlight that, copy, paste, and I put a comma. So that way with contact first name, whatever my contact's name is on my list. So if I go back to say here, list, in this case, if I send it to this list, blackjays.hotmail.com will be, his first name is Bobby. So this way it'll be personalized and I'll get an email saying, hi, Bobby. This is my first test email. I am trying out using SendFox. Let me unbold all this. All right, let's use the good old trusty right click. Oh, no. To fix typos, have yourself a great day. Exclamation point. So down here we have a few options, like here's a personalized option. Let me just go to this box here. Yes, you rock. Schedule your first email to 10 people and get found with your extra contacts. Cool. Okay, the box will disappear. All right, so if you count tags, oh, that's not going to do anything. So if you have the template, no, we're going to go back. So what you can do here is actually write it all out. And what's great too is you, what's, what I like about this option is that there's only a few fonts to choose of. And these are generally the best font options to have to read on your phone and mobile that aren't going to force you to squint your eyes or have any funky looking letters as you go through. In the email, you could also add in a button. So say I add button here. Um, click here and we'll say we'll just send it to google.ca the background color I'll change that to like a greenish hue boom Oop. text color I'll change it to like a red boom text font style I'll make it bold increase the size of the font border radius make it a nice round button so it's more pill size or I can make it a rectangle. I like pill and I'm going to click insert button and then I just kind of let me get there we go. Let me get this text above. Probably should have just copy pasted the button. Yeah, I could have just done that. And click the button below to go to Google. Boom, that's an easy way to add a button. If you want to add photos into this, click on that picture icon. You could create a hyperlink by highlighting any text, clicking the link icon, just type in the link, the URL that it's going to go to. And you have the usual editing stuff like you have in Word, your numbered list, bullet points. You could indent a line or bring it back. All normal stuff we're all used to. So now you just got to go to send or schedule. So send an email, please verify. So, you, so here's where you enter all your information. You just go with a bogus name. Bob the Builder, Street Afro 777 Lucky Street. This is an old address I used to use in Lucktown State. I'll go with New York, zip, and country United States. Boom, save address. So now when it comes to sending options, I could schedule it for either a date or time of my choice. What's great here is you'll notice it's not showing as why, but you have options for every five minutes. So whether it's 4.45, 4.40, 4.35, 4.30, pick a date, schedule, or I just click send now. Boom, that's done. Campaign save and schedule successfully. So that's going to be sent out at the time I have it set up for. So schedule for now, so sent out now. Then I just got to go back to the dashboard. That's it. One active subscriber, and that's an easy way to get set up and start sending out emails. So the next video I'm going to focus on actually creating a better smart page so that it actually looks much more pleasant and how to create the links to get them to sign up to your list. All right. Thanks a lot. Take care, guys. Peace out.